should think twice Would you wanna be like you? How you gonna be proud? It's your girl Debbie, you already know what it is We back with another video Today I'm going to be doing a video And the video I'm going to be doing is um, Unboxing and showing you guys what I have in my saxophone And attempting to try to play it as you guys can see, it's heavy. And so, yeah, let's see you And yeah, let's get started. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the no notification bell. And yeah, let's get started. So, first, I have to try and open it. Gosh, you guys, so heavy. Got it a couple of weeks ago. And then now I'm trying to play. I already know how to blow it in the words with my fingers and all that, but I just don't. I know my notes. It goes all the way up to probably G, but this looks amazing. Oh my gosh, let me try and lift it up so you guys can see. Oh my gosh. Ah, look at it. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold up. Let me just get it out because they always say do not get it by the notes. Get it by the bell and under it. That's what they used to say. And so it has this. And then it has something like this. I had put the reed in it. And yeah, I had put the reed in it. And so, cause I knew that. And then so it can't be a chipped reed or yeah, it can't be a broken or a chipped reed. And then it comes with some more reeds. It comes with some more reeds. As you can see, it comes with a bunch of reeds. I don't even know how much reeds are there, but there, there's a bunch of reeds. I had opened it to get a reed just the other time because I thought it was chipped. So as you can see, I have all my reeds in here. This is how they usually, this is how it looks. Gosh, I almost dropped it. See, this is a reed. I don't know if it's good. Okay, now it's focused on it. As you see, it is a reed. It says cello, which is not a cello. It's um, Cecilia. Yes, Cecilia. And then I have this, which is awesome. And then it comes with some cool gloves. It comes with a wiper. You can see. Got white gloves. They used to say it's like when you're in an orchestra or something, you could use them. So, yeah, I will be using these gloves once I go to, like, middle school office of learning. And so, yeah. But as you guys know, I'm going to be in fifth grade now. And so, I'm just waiting until I get to middle school so I can just learn how to play it. As you can see, it comes with a wiper wipe to wipe it. And so, yeah. And then, so, I have a tuner, but I didn't know what the tuner was for at the first place. Yeah, it comes with a tuner. I had put batteries in it, but like, I don't know how to tune uh, an instrument. The only thing I basically learned and know how to play in one instrument is a, is a, um, a keyboard. A keyboard, I'm good at it. I'm good at playing hot cross bonds. It's easy for me. As, oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. Okay, it's not broken. Okay, it's opened. You can see. It's a tuner. I don't know how to tune it. So we'll see about that. Okay, so after that, I use it comes with the neck strap. Okay, I, I found it. It comes with the neck strap. You can see. But since it doesn't come with the pad comfortable one, you can always probably just use a regular rag. I took a pink rag because I thought it would be match with it and so you could just like put it on your neck and then put the saxophone on the neck on your neck and put I meant the saxophone strap on your neck and so yeah that's what I thought of and then and then it comes with a Cecilio it's like um a cork yeah the cork the cork is actually for when you're what is it again? oh yeah when you're for this because like it's usually hard you just have to paste it on and it sticks i left it on because i thought like i didn't really have enough time to keep taking it out putting it, putting it in taking it out so i usually use a cork when it's hard for me to put it in in this part i just put the cork and i just stick it in that's what i usually do but and then here's the best part the saxophone okay so 
because guys, it gives me some sort of it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ugh. So it comes with this. I think it's a duster. I don't know, but it just comes with this. You just have to stick it right back in if, yeah. So it's like red, blue, and uh, yellow. Red, blue, and yellow. And so, yeah. And that's what's duster. So this is the bell, which you have to hold it when you're picking it up. And so these are all the notes. I know my notes. This is A. This is B. This is C. This is D. This is F. And this is G. It start, it's all the way at notes, as you can see. Oh, my Look at it. Alrighty. So let me just stick it in. I had put some cork in here already earlier, but yeah. Let me just stick it in. Okay, that's satisfying. See, I need a little bit of cork for that. Alright. So it's good. Okay, so I just stick it in. And so I know how it's supposed to sound when you first blow it in the beginning. So let me just put the strap, which I don't really need the, the, um, what I just, wait, the rag. I don't really need the rag right now, but yeah, let me just stick this in and kaboom, you have this. And so I am going to try and attempt to play. I know where to put your fingers. Your fingers are supposed to go right here. It's like a thumb rest. And this is another thumb rest where you are going to put your thumb right over here. And I will zoom it in after when I'm done editing. And then so I have, you have to put your thumb right here. And then you have to put your notes, your finger on the notes. It'll make a nice tuning sound. And then I will stand up for this. And then you have to, this is actually where you put your thumb and then you put your fingers on the notes which is right oh wait oh wait yeah over here so yeah i have an alto saxophone and so yeah but since i was small this is that my parents told me that i've been asking for it but when i figured out that this was really really complicated and i didn't know what to do with it I'm just like, why don't I just get a clarinet or a flute? It was so complicated. Let me just show you guys how you should blow it. So you you actually have to put your your teeth like this, like I know you put your teeth like that, so like this. <laughs> that didn't really sound right because I was supposed to write the read before you start. That's what they always say. <laughs> That is how it's supposed to sound. And so you're just supposed to put your thumb and you're just supposed to blow. But yeah, that's how you're supposed to blow. And so like it was kind of complicated when I first saw I'm just like, how am I going to learn this? I can't learn this on YouTube because they go really quick. Um, on the apps, sometimes when you buy the apps, it's just sometimes a waste of money when you buy the apps because you don't even turn out to know anything about it. So I'm just like, why don't I just get a listen teacher, but you know, all about the distance, about this COVID-19 stuff. And so I can't really get one, but I'm just trying to learn on my own and trying to learn by YouTube, like my dad says. But yeah, and then I'm just going to try and blow one more time, but all right. So I put my hands on the note to just try and blow it, but I'm just trying to learn. So as you guys, now I'm just going to show you guys how to unbuild it to put it back in the box. Actually, this is how the box looks. It's nothing really complicated but I took everything out so now I have to put everything back in so I'm gonna put this back in the tuner box because that's where it came from definitely thank you guys for watching my video don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell and so yeah and 
If you want more music videos, they will be down in the description box below. If you want to know more about saxophone, they'll be down in the description box below. I will be doing some more music videos in the future. And so, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace. Your girl's out. Thank you.